Behold the mystical pentacle. Hey, Tubies, it's Psyche Bob. It is so good to be with you. Well, I'm holding my old pentacle. This is my old altar pentacle. It's probably like 20 years old. It's pretty worn and beaten up, but I love it, and I wouldn't be without it. You know, um, before we get in this, we're going to talk about the pentacle today. We're going to talk about bringing it more fully into your life. So we'll be with that in just a minute. But, you know, before we get in that, I want to first of all say thank you. Thank you to all of you who came out to yesterday's video. Um, yeah, I had such a good time doing messages from the spirit world. If you didn't see that, check it out. It's in the queue right before this one. I know yesterday I said I was going to do a 4th of July video. But Psyche Bob got really tired. And I just needed a break. And, you know, it was a holiday. So I hope you guys will forgive me. I got slack. I didn't get that out. But some of what I was going to talk about, we'll talk about in today's video. So I am just so glad you are here. Well, you know, today I did want to talk about the pentacle. And... This is an ancient Wiccan symbol. Now, of course, now depending on who you ask, you'll get all sort of interpretations. And I've talked about the pinnacle here before, but today I want to talk about the pinnacle um, from the place of incorporating the pinnacle more fully into your life. A lot of people, when they think about the pinnacle, uh, think of it just as a tool. Like this is a pinnacle disc. It sits on the altar. We consecrate stuff on it. It's part of what we do. But you know, a lot of people, especially Wiccans, um, we forget that the pentacle can be a major part of our life. It's not only a powerful symbol of faith, it's actual a magical tool that brings protection. So I thought we'd talk about that today. Well, you know, I want to just uh, briefly read to you a passage here. This is from the book called uh, Witchcraft and Beginner's Guide by Teresa Mori. It's got a pentacle on the cover. But they have a section here uh, on the pentagram or pentacle, same thing. Uh, pentagram is the star without the circle. And if it's in a circle, it's a pentacle. But it has the same purpose. And uh, this says, what does the pentagram mean? It's got a picture of a pentagram down here, five-pointed star. And it says, the pentagram or five-pointed star is perhaps the sign most often linked to witchcraft. It symbolizes the four elements, earth, water, air, and fire, plus the fifth element, spirit. Uh, it is usually shown with a single point uppermost, meaning the power of the mind working creatively with matter. With an apex pointing downward, it looks like the face of a goat and has been associated with the, with the seeking of control for dubious purposes. But this really only means the spiritual spark hidden within matter. And the poor goat is, after all, a useful and fertile animal. Sometimes the pentagram is seen as representing the sacred feminine, as it looks like a spread eagle body of a woman. It is a favorite decoration for witches, and many wear it on a ring or necklace. As a pentacle or a disc, it appears on Wiccan altars, signifying earth. And I think that's a really great definition. And so as we were saying, you know, traditionally we see the pentagram at the point upwards. Now, the Satanists like to use a downward, whoop, I'm going to drop it here. And it's like the horns of the goat, the ears, and then the face. Um, but, you know, in traditional Wiccan, like the, the Alexandrians and in the, the Gardnerians, a lot of times people are given a an inverted pinnacle to wear as a sign of the second degree and it's not evil it just means spirit descending into matter so the two points represent the second degree and spirit coming into the person so either way it's it's not a bad symbol you know i tend to like it with the point up because i interpret it as meaning that spirit divine matter overarches all creation okay but anyways so the pinnacle is a wonderful tool for the altar, and everybody has an altar should have a pinnacle on it, you know. But what I wanted to talk about is more than just the ritual tool. I wanted to talk today about how we can bring the pinnacle more fully into our lives. You know, the pinnacle is a sacred symbol of faith. And as you guys have seen, you know, back here on my wall, I have a whole wall of pinnacles. And I think that everybody who follows the this tradition of Wicca or paganism, the ancient arts, should get to know the pinnacle. 
we can bring the pentacle into our life, it doesn't just have to be a reserved altar tool. It should surround us and breathe through us and we connect with it. You know, yesterday I did my, my video for 4th of July and I showed you guys my string. Now, I just bought this at, uh, actually I bought it at Pier 1. They had a whole section of the store that was for... Uh, Fourth of July stuff, you know, and this is the the pentacle done in red, white, and blue. It's the stars. It's very American. Could be British too. You guys have red, white, and blue, but I love this because this is a colorful way you can hang the pentacle in your house. And as you see, it's beautiful. It's got little ribbons on it. So um, actually, I should have I should have put it up here on the wall. But anyways, I will do that later. But see, whenever you're out shopping. Be aware that the pinnacle will pop up wherever you are, okay? And so like this, I bought this. This is going to be wonderful. Now, this is actually, I'm going to hang this in my altar area. Um, I have an altar that I'm building to the white scapular, the Wiccan white scapular, which we'll have another video on that when that's done. But um, this has the white pinnacle in it. And the white pinnacle is a sign of powerful protection. And whenever you're in danger, you should visualize a white pinnacle flaming in front of you. Cast it before you, before you leave the house, and it will be a guardian. And I can tell you, I've had a lot of experiences. Um, you know, in my neighborhood, we have some uh, challenging people, shall I say. And whenever I end up meeting like gang members on the street or troublemakers, I visualize a blazing white pinnacle, and it protects me. The secret, though, to being able to do that on command is you need to practice it. So you want to kind of study the symbol of the white pinnacle, get to know it, practice visualizing it. As I say, you want to bring the pinnacle into your life because if you leave the pinnacle just as an altar tool and you only see it when you do a ritual, you're limiting its use in your life. And the pinnacle really is a powerful protection. Now, you know, speaking of seeing it when you're shopping, here's another example. I was out shopping a few weeks ago and I bought a box of Ferrara Rocher chocolates. I love these, but look at this box. Is this not amazing? Now, this is a great sort of thing to have. You could store charms in it for protection, or if you want, you could just put this up in your kitchen and see so you'd have a pinnacle symbol. And if you live in a household where you kind of got to be underground, maybe you're saying, well, Bob, I can't openly display pinnacles. I'll be accused of witchcraft and my, my landlord will throw me out. Well, why don't you buy a box like this? Put it up in your, your area. People will think, oh, it's just a pretty little candy box. But you know that within it, it contains the sacred five-point star. Also, this would be a great project to use for craft projects. You could paint this as well and draw symbols on it, and it'd be a wonderful little project. In fact, if you do it that way, you'd actually get two stars. If you don't want to keep it as a box, because you could paint the backside, and you'd have two stars. But either way, you know, look for the pinnacle when you're out. There are a lot of ways to incorporate it into your house, you know, and into your life. One of the things that I like to do is, you know, I'm always like hanging the stuff in my house. And I found this a few months ago. This is a, a wind chime, but it's a pentacle wind chime. Isn't that beautiful? And this can hang in my house. When I have the windows open, the air is blowing. It's vibrating and releasing that wonderful energy of the pentacle. Isn't that lovely? I think this is great as a god symbol because it's kind of golden colored. So you get a pinnacles in all color. Silver turn, tends to represent goddess energy. And gold represents god energy. So you get a goddess or god depending on what. So I call this my god pinnacle because it's bronze color. It was just traditionally the Lord's color, you see. Now, you know, one of the other things that a lot of Wiccans actually forget this. You'd be amazed how many Wiccans never think about it. What about wearing the pinnacle? Now, I know everybody says, well, of course Wiccans wear the pinnacle, but a lot of Wiccans don't. They say, well, I can't find jewelry where I live, or I don't know about it. I never thought about it. You know, I encourage Wiccans. You know, Christians wear the cross every day, you know. Um, and I think we should wear our sacred symbol. So this is my silver pinnacle, as you can see it here. It's done in sterling silver. And I wear that. Now, I know not everybody can be open. I'm open as a Wiccan. I let people know my faith. I'm not afraid. Um, if you're in a place where you can't openly wear a pinnacle, you could tuck it under your shirt. Um, but, you know, if you can wear it openly, it's even more powerful. Tradition is that the witchcraft pinnacle should be displayed around a witch in order to give them power and blessing. So, uh, But if it's under your shirt, you're still getting power. But 
as much as you can openly display it because if it's in front of you you can see it as you wear it reminds you of protection and to keep your mind open to higher things it's a wonderful thing you know if you want to get really brazen and start wearing the pentacle you could even do like i do which is uh i like to wear pentacle shirts so here's my pentacle t-shirt um got a green pentacle it could be any color you know this is green because i like to work on green witchcraft but uh, it can be any color. I have one in red as well, which is for Sun Lord work. And I have one in white, you know, for protection. So you can wear the pentacle in a shirt form, okay? Now, also, you know, in your house, if you want to decorate, as I said, you could get a big tapestry. This is just a tapestry. Um, let's see, pull it up here. You guys can see it. It's, a, it's actually a sarong. I bought this. It's a look up pentacle sarong online. You can find these. And it just happens to fit perfectly in this area where I am. So I hang it up here. So I have the pinnacle really throughout my whole house. Now, if you're saying, well, Bob, I don't live in an area where I can buy anything mystical like that. I live in a hardline Southern Baptist town in Southern United States. Not to worry. There are sneaky ways to, to get pinnacles into your house. One of my favorite, favorite, favorite stores is the dollar store. And I'm always going to the dollar store. And here are some wonderful pentacle treasures that I got at the dollar store. Now, you know, in just a few months, believe it or not, we'll be back to holiday time, to Christmas time. So for usually from November or even October these days, for they start putting out Christmas decorations. Go to your local department store, your local dollar store, your local you know, pharmacy, most every store in the holiday season starts carrying decorations. And I bought this beautiful little gold pentacle. I bought this one at the dollar store. Isn't that gorgeous? Sparkly, very mystical. It's knotted like the, the Celtic knot, and it's the five-pointed store. Now, you could hang that up in your house, and people say, oh, what a pretty Christmas decoration. But the Wiccans would know, hey, that's really cool. You see? And I tell you, I have an endless supply. I've got another star here. Um, this was another Christmas decoration that I bought. I still have the tags. I haven't hung this one up yet. But isn't that beautiful? A golden five-pointed star. Now, that's very magical. Look at that. I have one of these in silver. Some of you may have seen it's in my altar for Our, Lady's, uh, Our Lady Star of the Sea. Um, and so I have a silver one over there, which I'll have to show you another time. But this is my gold one. Isn't that beautiful? lovely okay so um and i bought all sorts of things here's another charm that i've got this is a christmas tree ornament you can buy ornaments look at that there's a silver pentagram is that awesome or what you could hang that in your house anywhere you don't have to put it on a tree you could just hang it in you know on the wall hang it on a cabinet door you know pin it up somewhere put it on a doorknob whatever you want to do but you know you can bring this magical symbol into your life now one of my favorite things that i collect also is and this is something maybe some of you have thought of but you haven't you ever seen tree toppers you know you have christmas tree topper okay now i was in the store and i saw these these were on sale i bought this back actually actually after christmas it was like in february and it was on sale well, it was a dollar, and I got it actually for less. I think I paid 50 cents for it. And look at this. This is this is magical. We all say, well, Bob, I don't want to keep a Christmas tree up. Oh, no, there are a lot of uses for this. One of the things I like to do to display this if I don't want to have a tree up is I found a new way to do this. Check this out. What you want to do is find a candlestick, okay? It can be any type. It doesn't have to be this silver. This is a pewter one. It doesn't have to be pewter. Find a candlestick. Try to buy one that's that's made for taper candles. And what you'll find is that most tree stop toppers will actually fit down in the candlesticks. Oh, this one doesn't. Hold on, I got another one here. Not to worry. You have to play around. Sometimes it won't fit. Here's another one I've got. Now, this is a beautiful purple star. I got this also for like 50 cents. Isn't that beautiful? It's glitter. This is going to be on my new altar for the Order of the Purple Court. Actually, this one fits. Now, look at that. Put it down there. And isn't that a beautiful thing? You can just set it on an altar area or anywhere in your house you want to have a sacred symbol. 
You know, a lot of people have standing crosses, like they're crosses that have stands. You can have the standing pentagram. Isn't that wonderful? So, you know, look around. Um, I've also seen people take these. Another thing you can do is get a staff, a tall, like walking staff. And if it's a wooden one, you can whittle it down and make it so that this will fit over the staff and you can lean the staff up against the wall. And that's a wonderful, magical symbol. And you've got the pentagram in your house. You see? So there are a lot of ways. Oh, I forgot I had this. I got another purple star. <laughs> I got a dark purple star and a light purple wood. Is that wonderful? I told you I'm crazy about the pentagram. So, you know, uh, you know, look at ways you can bring it into your house. Here's another one. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. It's got pearls on it. I tell you, I love my stars. Now, you know, besides wearing pendants of the stars or tapestries, you could also even have rings. How about this? You guys have seen, some of you have seen this. Have you been with me a while? This is my pentacle ring. This is a wonderful way to wear the sacred symbol. You see, and I really think that Wiccans really need to think about incorporating the symbol into their lives. I think that if we all would start to incorporate the symbol, one, it would encourage us in our faith, it would enliven us, it would be a great sign of protection. And it gives us power to move forward in our lives, you know. So visualize the sacred flaming pentacle, the blazing white star, or any color you want that you relate to, but silver and white are traditional for visualization. Some people see it as a blue pentacle. Now there's a ritual called the lesser banishing ritual of the pentagram, and in that you're supposed to see flaming pentacles in blue flaming fire. That's another wonderful visualization. But you see, to do the meditations to get the most out of them, you really kind of have to be attuned to the pinnacle, you know? And so that's why I encourage you, bring the pinnacle into your life, put it up, display it, wear it, really get to know it. And I, I tell you, as somebody who's worked a lot with the pinnacle, it really has improved my life, you know? Now, if you're in a very desperate situation where you just can't have any of this, you know, what I was going to talk about yesterday was the flag, the American flag, in fact, I don't have a flag here today, but the American flag is full with 50 pentagrams. That's protection. Hang the American flag. Is a nobody going to criticize you? They're like, oh, what a nice young person. They're patriotic. But you know that in the American flag, there are symbols of magic power. The flag has the mystical white pentacle in it. Pretty, pretty amazing, isn't it? Well, anyways, guys, I just want to come here. I want to share these thoughts with you and uh, show you some ways that I incorporate the sacred symbol into my life. You'll be seeing more of this uh, beautiful purple one as I get my altar to the order of the purple cord together. And uh, so definitely check back here. By the way, if you're interested in joining the order of the purple cord, go to my website at www.robert-heckman.com. I'll put the link below. And you can read about the order, how to join. It's free. It doesn't cost anything. We're a mystical online Wiccan order. Uh, we also have a Facebook page. Go to Order of the Purple Cord on Facebook, and you'll find us there as well. You guys are the best. I love you. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited to come here and share the mystical pentacle with you. So anyways, tell me in the box below, do you wear a pentacle? Is it part of your spiritual life? How do you use it? And do you have decorations in your home? Is it on your altar? Do you, you know, wear it? Share with me your experience with the pentacle. I'd love to hear about it. Well, guys, thanks for being here. Keep it here. Uh, what's tomorrow? Thursday. Yes, tomorrow is Zodiac Thursday. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to do yet. I'm still working on stuff. But just be here. We'll have something mystical and fun. So we'll see you then. Anyways, hope you'll help me out. Like this, favorite it, hit subscribe, be part of our channel. We'll see you back here tomorrow. And until then, may you always blessed be.